And what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Joe Fontaine of VIP Sound Lab. And I got some questions as far as uh doing macro controls and how to assign them in a group. And uh yeah, I can go ahead and I'll do that. That's no problem. The macro controls are really easy, so this is gonna be a really short video. You'll you'll get this like bam super quick because this is like so easy. So for example, on the last video I had a track that was rolling something like this. Okay, so let's say if you didn't want to fly through all these tabs to control certain aspects of the mix. Like, for example, on this particular sound, I was, uh, or rather this group, I was using it, or uh, rather I was routing um, sounds to these plugins on group G and group H. I had a uh, SSL G channel on that group. And on this one, I was using uh, stock plugins from uh, Native Instruments Machine. So let's say... I was in the mix, okay, and I wanted, you know, I didn't want to jump around too much. Uh, I wanted to just go ahead and control maybe like one specific little area. Like, let's say like the low band frequency. I could right click on here, assign a macro control. I can make this macro one. As you see the little blue dot lit up right there. So now I can control the frequency uh, of the lows. Or the, or, the, or the you know the low band frequency if I wanted to tune that and then let's say I want to control maybe the gain on that we use macro 2 the frequency on the high and the gain on the high sign it to macro 4 and on the reverb here let's say I want to control the size Put that on macro five. Again, we have eight slots uh, and the mix. All right, I still have two two available, but you know, I'm just gonna use these. Well, yeah, I'll just use these slots for the sake of the video. So now what happens is when I go to group here, if I go to MCR, which basically just means macro, they all show up right here, okay? So now when I'm in the mix, if I want to control, you know, these is the lows, the frequency of the gain, the frequency of the highs, the frequency of the high gain, and this is the reverb size and mix. So if I was in the mix, That's getting ridiculous. So I added like way too much reverb right there. I can mix it down. Put too much in there. So you can see how I can get an overall control of the mix. Now that was getting ridiculously loud. Now that more or less would have been clipping, but I'm just showing how a useful tool the macro controls can be. And another point I want to show, you could do the same thing on your plugins. Like, okay, here's, let's say if I did the analog to macro one, uh, let's do, Oh, and we got different. I want you know what I want to show you. You have different pages too, like page two flies through different areas of the of the plugin. See, like let's say the lo-fi gain. I want to sign that. Let's put a macro on that. Let's see what else would I want to do. Let's go to page four. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, why not? We'll do the high fi gain. So the macros are basically your best friend. If you don't want to, you know, fly through too much of the um the controller. Again, we jump over here to group and go to the MCR tab. Those are the ones I just did for the plugin. 
and <clears throat> let's see let's bring this up so now gonna mute that groove and that's getting ridiculous I know but I just want to show so I wanted to bring the highs up that quick I'm controlling the mix with the macro controls to bring that back in All right, so that's just a pretty quick look at using the macro controls and how they can come in pretty handy because again it keeps you from having to jump through those tabs it's a lot quicker just to jump on a group and like okay boom i can just run through these joints real quick and it's not just for that it's for instruments too um if you had let's say for example you had an instrument loaded up and you want to control the instruments gain size uh a certain parameter on the plugin like if a plugin was right here and you wanted to control anything on that instrument, your macro controls would be set right there. But nine times, I'm not gonna show that because nine times out of 10, when you open up a VST inside Native Instruments Machine, it auto maps most of those plugins parameters anyway. it's pretty much on this one. Thanks for watching.